Good afternoon. Good morning, you lovely lot. Welcome for something that's a little bit different for me, and that is the softer side of life. So instead of the paper crafting, the die cutting, the embossing avenue, I'm going to be having a look at the soft craft. So this is where we're going to be getting our stitch on when it comes to incredible things that if you didn't see wake up call then you're in for a treat to get a little bit of an idea as to what we're going to be having a look at many items as well for me as well they were just that the penny was dropping even things that i look around the house the curtain or the or on the couch the the cushions anything like that the way that are mitered together they've come together penny was dropping with some of the things that we were seeing throughout wake up call this whole two hours is all about softer side of life it's all about the soft crafts of course when it comes to stitching and sewing we've got tools we've got bag making dies we've got a plethora of items for you if you do love to do your soft crafts well of course we thought who, who can we get it's really the only one that does soft crafts here, and that is, of course, it's Becky. <laughs> hey, Becky. That's very true. It's just me. It's really, yeah. And we don't need anyone else. Anyone else. Yeah. Although, I think it might help if there was somebody else that could do soft crafts. So, in between shows, when people come to me with their um, sewing um, issues, um, and I um, try to repair um, Jamie's hoodie, and I ended up making a hole in it. I know, very bad. Very bad. I really Seriously. Yeah. I'm gonna hot, hot fit it down to have a dashi shop and um, go and get some trays to fix it. Okay, I wouldn't ask you to stitch up my boxers then that I was going to no, ask. No. To be clear, to be clear of everyone's underwear. I'm just putting it out there, I don't want to repair anybody's underwear. If underwear needs repairing, buy some new. That would be my tip Good of the tip, day. that is your tip. That's yeah, your my, tip. My tip of the day, yeah. There we go then. I'll keep them away from you then. Yeah, no boxers coming your way. What we're going to be having a look at within softer side? Oh, boxes. No, not boxes. No, we're going to... <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Um, we're going to be continuing with our journey with Builder Blocks. So we've got the alphabet and numbers, not the elephant and numbers, as I keep calling it today. I don't know why that's happening. Um, and we've also got um, some bag making dies as well. So okay. I'm going to do something a little bit different with one of the bag making dies. Yeah, perfect, awesome. And in case you wonder as well, that's part of the reason why they keep me and Becky apart from each other <laughs> because of, if you thought the fun and laughter that I have with Ben or Becky has with Ben or that, that's nothing compared to some of the things that goes on between myself and Becky. And, and you're only he they're only hearing the bits that are on air. That's, that's tr that is true actually, yeah. That's the even stuff that's off air is really... It's not even good for a late night, is it? No. Some of the things. Oh, it's not like the Hollyoaks, when they did the um, late night Hollyoaks episodes. Yeah. Remember those ones? They're a little bit, ooh. Yeah. Or the late night Brookside, when they start to mm. do that. Which, incidentally, here in the UK, STV player started playing them again from the very beginning. Really? I've been watching them the other day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Brookside. It's like I'm watching Adam. Just loads of Adam speaking. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, you'll remember that used to work behind the scenes here at Crafters TV, all these yeah. Liverpoolians. <laughs> all you Liverpoolians. <laughs> Pudlians. Chatting away to each other. But we're not here to talk about Liverpoolians, although you are absolutely lovely and it is a lovely place. We are here to talk about our sewing room. Now, not, not, not just my sewing room, because I don't have one, but Becky's or yourselves, and that is essentials that you need to have within your craft room. Now, within this one here, works out you're going to be paying for two items, you're going to get four for free. Usually, maybe elsewhere you think, yeah, they're only going to put the four items in that you don't really use, that you don't really need. Hmm, not us. Because the two items that you're paying for is this large A2 foldable cutting mat. Now, it is large. If you know what, of course, your A2 size is. If you're not familiar with that, you're probably familiar with A3. So think of your A3 and then double it. That is how big your large cutting mat is. Now that alone is worth £29.99. £29.99 or £29.95 for you guys stateside. So there you go. You are paying for that and you're also paying for your rotary trimmer. Now that one comes with the replacement blades as well. So look at your screen again, $54.98 or $69.90. That alone is worth £30.30 shy of a couple of pence and cents but you're going to get these ones both here 
Now, for no additional cost, what you're also going to get is you're going to get your 51 piece. This is your needle and your magnetic tray. So it's 51 pieces, 50 of your pins, and then you've also got your uh, magnetic tray as well. That is coming to you, no additional cost. You're also going to get your miter tool as well. This is one that Becky explained throughout. Wake up call, I'm sure, throughout. Softer side, she'll explain once again. But that's coming in completely free. What you're also going to get for free is your 6 by 24 inch foldable ruler. Now it does fold out four times to create that extra long length. That is completely free. That one alone is worth $24.99 or $28.95. And then you're also going to get a pack of your clips. Now these ones being your quilting clips here, you're going to get a full pack of them completely free. $54.98 or $69.90. Platinum comes down to $43.98 or $55.92. So you'll have seen what I was meaning a moment ago where these are items you are going to be using every single day or every single time that you do any of your soft crafts. You've got your uh, clips, you've got your foldable ruler, you've got your miter tool as well, you've got your magnetic tray and your pins as well. That's what you're getting for free. What you, really, what it works out that you're paying for it is going to be your rotary trimmer. So that one there is your 60 millimetres. You've also got two of your replacement blades in there as well. And then, of course, your large foldable cutting mat. So that is where that is an exceptional, and I mean absolutely exceptional, bundle when it comes to that starter kit. So that one is your sewing room essential six-piece tool collection, down at that platinum price, $43.98 or $55.92, Becky. And this is one, if you are not into soft crafts, you're maybe not familiar with a rotary cutter. Yeah. But yeah. what, what are they exactly? Um, so this is um, what we've got in, in the show. Um, so when you use it, it's, it's a, a circular blade that will allow you to cut your fabric. So it's really good for cutting against a rood or any kind of acrylic um, item that you're using. So it's not, it's not something you'll need to use if you're going to be using the builder block, apart from just cutting your fabric to size in order to sort of fold it up and put it through um, the die cutting machine. Now you basically pull the handle like this and then you have a little button on the side and you press that button in and that's what keeps the blade out. Okay. And then when you want to put it away, you press the button and the blade goes back into the housing. Now these can be used a left-handed or right-handed. Um, if you This is, comes to you as a, a right-handed tool, um, but if you are left-handed, you just need to unscrew this and bas basically pop the blade on the other side That's down brilliant. here. That's brilliant. So you don't have to buy two different items, yeah. two different items if you're a left-handed. Okay. Um, so it makes it really useful. Now what I would recommend, you obviously come with um, blades. Um, if you're gonna be working with some really expensive um, fabric, mm -hmm. um, change your blade. Okay. Um, don't scrimp. You'll suddenly sort of think, oh, actually, why am I not cutting anything properly? And you'll suddenly change your blade. And you're like, oh, just goes through like Blades a dream. Through. And then this, the, the mats, this is the larger mat. This is the one we haven't got on the show. This is the A0, A1. Okay. A1, 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 A1 size. But basically it's the same situation that it folds up and they are self-healing mats. Um, so you can use them, you could use your rotary cutter like this a number of times. You're not gonna get any marks on it um, no. until you know, you've gone through it you no, know, in exactly the same place multiple times. Um, so if you're going to be um, using this a lot, you just need to give it a little bit of a wipe down. This one's a little bit, a little bit grubby, just needs a wash with them, um, a little bit of soap. Um, and some, sometimes a little scourer, right, um, a green yeah. scourer, um, and it's a self-healing mat, so this is going to protect your um, space. Now, your ruler, uh, this is an absolute godsend. I find this really useful because it fits into my, my little sort of caddy that I've got here, my very messy caddy. It fits in here, no problem. Um, it's not, um, if I've got ones that are full size, um, they're really big, they're 20 inches, 24 inches long. Um, it's really difficult in order for you to keep that, um, you know, keep it in a place, you know, you can't take it away with you. Um, it makes it nice and simple. And then all you will do with your rotary cutter, this, this, this acrylic um, ruler is exactly what you're going to be using against your rotary cutter. You find your fabric and then you just use your rotary cutter and you're just pushing it against this acrylic here. And this is the same acrylic that acrylic templates would be made out of, but it's great because it does fold up and it has measurements um, in ascending um, one side and descending the other side. So no matter which way you are trimming everything, mm -hmm. you can see exactly what you're doing. So definitely these 
these things alone are like your key items when yeah. you start sewing but with all of those other bits and pieces that you're going to be getting together as well it really does make a difference now that mitre tool i did say i was going to get you some samples and i did uh, and then i left them over there i remember Aww. exactly where i put them i did a photo shoot put in the, in the break and I, I left them on the floor as you do but to give you an example an idea of how what i mean by the mitre tool it's got different angles in it in order for you to make different sort of points on the edge of your fabric and um, so for this one here um, you can see obviously you've got a 45 degree angle here and um, so this is going to follow on at that diagonal here but you've got this one here which is a different angle yeah, it's different. and that mitre tool has got all of those different angles within them mm. and it also has inverted angles so if you had something that was shaped like that and you wanted to have a mitre corner here you would be able to use that mitre tool in order to create that angle so okay. it's a really useful piece of kit all of um, those items, things like that, that and the binding tool, you will find um, information and videos on our website and we'll show you step by step how to put those all together and how to use them. So it's really well worth having, especially as you're getting it for free. Yeah. Um, photo shoot, was that with the new top that you made within Wake Up Call? No, it wasn't. No? No, it wasn't. Because it was, you know, it was hot. We were concentrating on then, and we were concentrating on leaves. Okay. Up call, weren't we? Yeah. You yeah. could have gone down what you'd done with Adam and Eve. Look. Well, I could have done like a, an outfit like Sunita did. You could. I could have done, but nobody wants to see that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look for Sunita and leaves um, outfit, and you'll see exactly what I yeah. mean. That's not something I'm going to be wearing here. No. Ever. Just saying that. X Factor Judges episode from a good couple of years ago. <laughs> Say no more. We could do our own version here when it comes to Crafters <laughs> TV. Could have done that off the back of Wake Up Call, that's for sure. We've got Scram Shopper is saying hello from Houston, Texas. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you. I hope you enjoyed the Royal Rumble from San Antonio, Texas. There, Scrampy Shopper. Uh, the Alamo Dome it was. Quite a substantial place, that is. I'd like to go there. Michelle saying good morning from Pennsylvania. Carletta saying hello everyone from Arkansas. Hello to you. Lynn Blackledge is saying afternoon from the Isle of Wight. Afternoon to you. Uh, we've got Rosalind is saying hello from Maryland everyone. Carol Shepard saying hi everyone from North North Lum North <laughs> Northumberland. There we go. Get the words out. Northumberland. <laughs> Northumberland. <laughs> Stephanie Theodos is saying, good morning, Craig, Becky, CCTV team and crafty friends everywhere from a chilly New Jersey. Well, hello to you. Silva's saying, hi everyone, looking forward to a lovely softer side with Craig and Becky. So am I. Karen Wells, Sorel is saying, forgot to say hello. Hi from Kentucky. Well, hello to you too. We've got Shadai saying, the ruler and Matt is for all crafters. That is a great buy too. Isn't it, isn't it deed? It really is. Carol is saying, hello, Craig and Becky. Lovely to see you both. Well, it's lovely to see you too as well. Any comments, any questions, get them across. We've got Susie on social for the remaining of today. I believe she's here for the remaining of today anyway. So anything that you want to ask, of course, send them through. I will send them across to Becky. I won't be able to help because this is where I'm going to be using this show to be learning lots more. So remember stuff from a good couple of months ago yeah. when we were on together on a show yeah kind of touched upon it but then wake up call kind of like the the now the words going right in my head like the stretch of the fabric yeah the grain line grain line that's it yeah the grain line so there is bits and pieces that i uh, do remember good that's excellent i'll be testing you later on oh no i hate yeah. tests we're gonna do a little exam later on <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, this is uh, one maths test that I would absolutely not fail on, and this is where you're going to be getting... I can't believe that. Seriously, Johnny. You're buying one, and you're getting two free. This is your bag-making die. This is a three-pack collection, ten dies in total. So you say it does work out. You're buying one, you're getting two for free. $24.99 or $34.95. Now, when it comes to these ones here, if you are platinum, it's going to come down to $19.99 or $27.96. Now, within these ones here, these are all bag making. These are your multimedia dies, hence that darkness. You've then got your circular crossover bag. You've also then got your carpet bag here. And then you've also got your bowling bag. 
which is here. Now, all of these are what's coming included. So you don't have to cherry pick or mix and match, anything like that. These are the three that you're going to be getting. So it does work out that you're buying one of them and then you're going to get the other two for free. Now, at that price there, which is exceptional on that today's price, $24.99 or $34.95, do the maths, double that, of course, the two you're getting free. That's where you're saving is $59.98 or $79.90. But look at your price platinum, under 20 quid. That's so... I mean, you, if you made one of those bags and you sold it, you would sell it for twice that amount. And make your money back. Straight away. Yeah. Straight yeah. away. Nineteen ninety nine to be more specific, or twenty seven ninety six for you guys stateside. These are across on our website. Everything that you're going to see Becky going over and myself going over are on shop the day. You'll have found items from earlier on's wake up call, and then later on at the end of the day, Jan will be back for the two hour masterclass on mixed media, six o'clock in the UK, one p.m. Eastern time, ten a.m. Pacific time, and all the items and more that she's going to be featuring will be on shop the day as well right Becky these what you can make on the pictures look lovely they look great the actual dies to me are just straight lines and curvature how do yeah. they come into bags they're really quite clever so these are you know the, when you see the bags in in situ you can see they're quite sizable bags because you're using um, the dies are basically in half so you're folding the fabric over and you're putting the die against that that fold so you're you know, you're minimizing how much metal um, you're actually using for the die and you're, you're basically cutting everything in halves so this one is your bowling bag and it is really quite big i mean it's um, I mean, I would al almost say this would be quite good for a change bag for, you know, a new baby. You can oh, fit would. plenty of things in here, not just bubble wrap like we've put in here, because um, you always need to, a little bag to transport your bubble wrap with you. Of course. Um, but you can see it's got a really nice kind of shape to it. Um, it's a nice sort of curve with a, um, a sort of solid base down here. Now, these have just been made in ordinary a cotton fabric with um, a little bit, I'm feeling that a bit of interfacing in there and not anything more rigid. So um, interfacing and wadding is something we're going to talk about when I find it. There it is. So when you're making bags, if you want something with a bit more structure, you'll use something like this. So this is um, wadding or batting, depending on where you are. We tend to use the word wadding in the UK, but batting um, in the US. And this is the kind of thing that you put in between quilts mm -hmm. um, to give it some kind oh, of yeah. thickness. And it gives it a little bit of structure. Now, it doesn't give it a massive amount of structure. If you want something really structured, really sort of defined bag, if you're making a kind of Hermes Birkin, for example, um, you'd be using some kind of bows or some kind of foam to give it really, really good structure. Unlikely you're going to be um, making a Hermes Birkin unless you are a you know, Hermes mm -hmm. leather person. Yeah. But you can see here, this one is the carpet bag. Carpet bag? Carpet bag? Yeah, carpet bag. Mm -hmm. And this one's been made with um, foam inside it. This has got something called bosal inside it. I can feel it inside. Um, it's much more structured. It's also got... Um, uh, PVC in it, sort of faux leather, um, to create that kind of design. So that's absolutely something you okay. can do with those. And you can see it's more structured. If this was just made of cotton, it'd be quite floppy mm -hmm. without that kind of structure. And then finally, we've got circular bags. Uh, these are really quite cute. So this one is made with some of the um, cork fabric that we've had in the past. Might be available on the website. Have a look for that. Um, and then this one in just ordinary cotton. Again, these have got a bit of structure to them. They've got something in them. They've got some kind of wadding um, to give them more structure because you want to keep that sort of circular look to it. Now, this is the one that I'm going to be working on at the moment, but I'm not making a bag because you know me, I like to try something a bit different. Yeah, you do. So I'm going to do something a bit different, but I'm going to use that circular die um, to create what I'm doing. So all um, so those three bags you just shown there, I know the yeah. last one there was the same bag, just different style. Yeah. All three of them are done from these die sets. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Now, you know, this is a brilliant buy if you're thinking of making things for craft fairs, um, for charity to sell. I mean, having, not having the, the issue of having to cut anything out, just having that, those dies to run those through your machine. It makes everything very, very simple for you. You can batch make them really quickly and easily. Um, for that kind of price, I mean, it's a bit of a no-brainer, mm -hmm. really. It is, isn't it? Now, this is your circular bag. So you've got this big semi-circular piece. So this is making the base of the bag. And then this makes the gusset, the part that goes underneath the bag and then this is the zip panel so you would make two of these if we grab the bag which I just threw on the floor um, so this bit this one here the larger one this makes the gusset which goes on the bottom 
And then this one up here creates this piece here, which has got the um, zip in it. So mm -hmm. you would do two of these pieces and you put the zip inside it. Um, and you'd obviously cut them out of um, fabric. You cut them out of your lining fabric as well, and you also cut them out of any kind of interfacing or wadding that you might be using. But um, today, I'm just going to use fabric for these, okay. and I'm just going to use this die here. Now, with all of these, they do come with some instru instructions here, um, but if you are more of a visual learner, if you have a look at the website, there are step-by-step um, -step instructions okay. on, on the videos um, for you to be able to watch. But it does give you the information that you'll need, all the bits and pieces you need to buy um, in order to make those bags and that kind of thing. So we're going to take this, and I've already cut a couple of pieces of cream fabric here so I'm going to give them a bit of a press first of all and I was saying earlier on that my ironing board has gone, gone walkabouts so I'm just going to use a couple of um, pieces of fabric just folded over just something underneath like yeah like we'll that. have lots of fabric across on our website for you to check out check out I'm just going to fold these over. So these, they're folded over in half, so I just want that nice sharp fold there. Okay. And I'm going to do exactly the same with this piece of fabric as well, like that. So is this similar to what you were saying earlier on in Wake Up Call about finger pressing? Yeah, well, no, because I'm using an iron. Yeah, I, yeah I, know that. <laughs> I know that, but then in Wake Up Call you didn't have an iron. <laughs> That's so rude, wasn't I? Yeah. No, that's I mean, good. I, I like it's, it. It's really important to iron... To oh, that's them. what that metal thing in your hand is. I wondered. That hot metal thing. <laughs> Not Becky. Uh, it's really important that you get a really nice crease for this one. The, the finger pressing um, is something... You know, it, it's fine if you're just going to do something nice and quick. But I want to cut these two pieces of fabric together. Um, so I want to make sure I've got that nice fold because what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the die over the top here and you can see here you've got these little lips, these little um, sections over here. I just lips. want to go over, lips, little lip, um, to go that. over that fold. So when it cuts out, it's going to cut that perfect circle. Um, so that's why I'm giving it an iron. And you should, you know, if, if, um, if Leanne was watching, Leanne would say, you've got to iron everything all the time. Mm -hmm. And she's absolutely right. You do need to keep it nice and straight. Um, and I am, well, as we've all learned, I'm really terribly lazy. Um, I think that's the long and the short of it. Um, I wouldn't say that. I'm going to do that. No, I, I am. It's fine. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy knowing that I'm terribly lazy. <laughs> you know, if there's an opportunity to sit on the sofa and do nothing, I'm there. You'll do it. Yeah. You know, there's some people who... I think Corinne is totally opposite. You know, she's always doing things. And my brain is always busy thinking about the things I'm going to do just after I've watched this last episode of whatever I'm watching. Mm -hmm. And then about three days later, I go, yeah, I think I should do that now. Yeah. So I'm using my fabric plates here. So I've got my clear plate, I've got my fabric plate, I've got my fabric, I've got my die facing down. So we've got the flat side here. And I'm cutting through four layers of fabric here. I've got my other fabric plate and my other clear plate over the top. You can, if you don't have fabric plates, you can absolutely use the ordinary plates that come with your machine. You would want to use the um, metal shim um, for underneath the fabric mm -hmm. and you want to use your frosted shim um, okay. over the top of that. Yeah. Um, you don't need to worry about putting the uh, magnetic shim Perfect. in Perfect. Awesome. Looking forward to seeing how well this is cut out. So that's cut out perfectly. Wow. That's, that's how well it's cut out, perfectly. It's like half a tortilla wrap. <laughs> it is, or a fortune cookie. Or a fortune cookie. Yeah. 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 One day I'm going to make a fortune cookie bag, I think. With um, lots of fortune cookies in them. Pardon? With lots of fortune cookies yeah, in them. Yeah, lots of fortunes in it. In fact, when I got married, we had um, fortune cookies um, with our wedding date. Did you? Um, printed on one side and then fortunes on the other. And I said, I only want nice fortunes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, didn't want any no, disappointing fortunes. All right. So what I'm going to do now, if I had a right side and a wrong side, I'd have to worry about it. But what I want to do is I'm going to stitch around here, um, and then I'm going to turn it out. So I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap, and I'm just going to stitch around with a quarter of an inch um, seam allowance. Now, you, there's lots of ways you could do this. Basically, what I'm going to do, make is a bit of a wall hanging. Because um, I just thought, thought, I don't necessarily want to make a bag. I'd like to try to do something a little bit different. And I'd cut all of those, um, those shapes, those leaf shapes that Craig had such a lovely time giggling about. And I thought I'd like to use something for these. So that's what I'm going to be doing. The um, Adam and Eve ones. Pardon? The Adam and Eve ones. That's right, yeah. The Sunita. 
dresses kind of thing. So I'm, I'm going to pin this around and I'm going to stitch around the outside. Now I could have stitched, uh, actually if I had time, I might not want to um, stitch by the machine. I might want to do blanket stitch all around the outside, um, but that takes quite a long time for me to do um, on the show. So I'm going to stitch around um, in, um, with the same machine and then turn it out. Love and uh I'm just going to change. Oh, that might be all right. Oh, so the pins Becky's using from, of course, that first set that we showed you, where you're going to get them free as well. Um, when you were saying as well about chilling on the couch, yeah. have you been watching Next Level Chef on a Wednesday night with Gordon Ramsay? What? Gordon Ramsay. It's a new no, cookery show. Oh, so good. Is it? Yeah. I was I was getting a little bit bored of the Hell's Kitchen concept. Uh, he's, if that's been going on a long it's time. It's been going a long and time. And it's the same format every single time, isn't it? Yeah, well, this, this new one on ITV, it's been going for about four weeks or so now. So good. Oh, so I might good. have to watch that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you must do. Although those kind of programmes do make me really hungry. Yeah, yeah, I could, I could see that. And the only reason that you might be thinking, well, where's that come from, Craig? Just because on Wednesday night, I thought, right, I'm going to get a lot of prep done, had lots that I wanted to get done, and then that started. And wow. I forgot was on there. And it's that good that, although I have it series linked, I just thought, no, I want to watch it as it happens. So, yeah. Just well, I, in my head. I, was, um, I had a very lazy week last week and I watched a lot of TV, um, including I've watched every single episode now of Call the Midwife. Have you? Yeah. 12, 12 series. I've never watched Call it. The, oh, I love Call the Midwife. Yeah. That's a brilliant show. I, I do watch clips when Miriam Margulies is in it. Oh, yes. I, yeah. I, I, I love her. her as herself, not as a character. She's brilliant. She's hilarious. She is hilarious. And she's so rude. So rude. <laughs> whenever, you, whenever I know she's going to be on a daytime TV talk show, I am... Um, but well, Johnny's just said she'd read her book. It's funny. I've got it. I've, I've just not read I've it yet. I've got it as an audio book. Have you? Yeah, and it's very good. Very, very funny. And it's quite, um, you know, you, you really... You know, you really feel for her because mm -hmm. yeah, you know, she had she a says, tough life, didn't she? She's not a lead, leading lady material because no. she was always, you know, sort of rather rotund and short. Mm -hmm. um, she was never going to be a leading lady, but she's had some fantastic roles. I and mean, I think we often only see these people on the TV, don't we? And we, we don't do. see how much theatre they do. That's but it. She yeah. really is quite extraordinary, and she has the most amazing voice. She, oh, she's got a great voice. Her diction voice. is absolutely yeah. on point. She isn't done lots. It was last year, and actually, I believe they're about to do another series or season for you guys stateside. Her and uh, um, uh, Alan Cummins oh, travelled yes. Scotland in a camper van. Oh, I think I've seen clips of that. So yeah. good, yeah, because Alan Cummins, well, he's he's is from Dundee, but he's more the the Barry area, which is Carnoustie. He never says Carnoustie, don't know why, but there you go. And yeah, they all uh, the two of them travelled in a camper van. And it was so interesting to see and watch. As they're quite characters, aren't they? Are. I think you know she's. I think she's probably quite marmite in real life. You know because she's quite outspoken. Mm -hmm. I think she probably would be um, somebody that you know would have got lots of people's backs up over the years uh, because she is so outspoken. But I think she's hilarious. She's somebody I'd quite like to meet. Um, uh, what I've done here is, um, while we were chatting, I just went round the edge and I just cut in little um, snips to allow me to be able to pull out that curve. You could make your um, own whoopee cushion. I, I could make my own whoopee sh cushion, but I don't know if it'd be very whoopee. Because mm, it's, no, not. you need something. I mean, we could, we could give it a try. You could give it, it a shot. I could finish it, you could sit down on it, you could tell me if it makes a noise. You know, you know who's good at making pumping noises? Who's that? Maria Margulies. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't believe in keeping them in, does no, she? No, she doesn't, no. no. I think um, she puts them on TikTok. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> That'd People be an earn a lot of money <laughs> by that. Yeah. Put them in jars. The amount that I've made lately is incredible. There, <laughs> there was um, there was somebody I saw on social media who was complaining that people were um, putting pardon me's in her mailbox, and she was she was sort of saying in the in the neighbourhood, who is it? Who is the flatulence phantom? Mm. Um, but yeah, people were doing pardon me's. Imagine that when you're older and you're speaking to your kids or grandkids and say, how did you make money when you were when you were younger? <laughs> I just posted videos of my pumps. 
But um, there was that very famous, I've got a feeling we've had this conversation before, this famous, very famous um, entertainer, um, and that was what he did, didn't he? Um, Victorian time, I think, perhaps, and he, was, um, he would be able to, to pump on demand, um, and he would make, um, he, did, he always finished his show with a 121 gun salute. Um, and um, they did a, um, a programme, a film about him, and Leonard Rossiter played mm -hmm. him. Uh, and it was quite interesting. He died, uh, I think, on, on stage after, you know, one, one too one many. One too many. Um, but, yeah, it was, um, it was very popular. And back in the sort of Victorian time, or perhaps Edwardian time, um, they found it quite hilarious. This man would sort of wander around or dance and you know, be yeah. making noises. Oh. Takes all sorts, I suppose. You know, I'm well, glad that's not something that's found its way onto Britain's Got Talent, to be honest. Oh, well, you never know. No. You never know. That's Someone way may start. be watching now and thinking, well, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing next week. Maybe. Britain's Got Talent. Britain's Got Talent, yeah. They've just started to film that one, it has. Britain's what would got your, be your talent if you went on to it? I, I, I don't feel as though I've got. Like, I, I, I would. I'm, I feel as though I'm good at craft. I'm always, always learning. I'm always learning. But as a talent out of crafting, no, it's not something. I can't sing. I can't dance. I can't. I've always. I wished years ago that I started to learn the piano. Yeah. And th th this is really sad because the one out of all the tunes that you could ever play on a piano or keyboard, do yeah. you know what one I've always wanted to do? Play. Oh, Sorry? Chopsticks. No. Um, oh. It's a TV theme. TV theme. Uh, Neighbours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And years ago, if you remember, Peter Kay done a, a kind of sketch when it comes to a reality show, pop stars meets dancing on, that sort of stuff. And he got together with, um, oh gosh, uh, from the Beatles. Um, George Harrison, Paul, Paul McCartney. McCartney, and they were rehearsing. It's all part of the skit. And Paul McCartney was playing the Home and Away theme song on the keyboard. And Peter Kay, his character, Geraldine, was singing, you know, we belong together. Yeah, can well, I, I can sing. I just can't sing in tune, but yeah. <laughs> so yes, to answer your question, no, I'd, I'd <laughs> and, no, no talent. I don't think that's true. I'm sure you have got talent. I wonder if anyone. I wonder if anyone is watching that's done um, a, a talent show. Yeah, let us know in the comments. That? that would be interesting yeah. to know. That would be interesting to know. I won a national singing competition, and I can't sing. What did you sing? But it doesn't, I don't think it really matters what I was saying. It was what, what I was wearing, to be honest. That's, oh. that's what made me win. Yeah, that's that story. No one wants. No one wants to hear that story. <laughs> I'm not going to repeat what Jamie just said, um, but yeah, I can't. I can't sing, <laughs> but I, I sing better than my husband. My husband is such a bad singer. He made me laugh at my dad's funeral because he was so out of tune, um, which I think is is a good thing. You know, it's quite entertaining. Um, so what I've done here, what we've been, what we've been gassing, is I just want to stitch up that little hole, that turning hole that I made. Um, so I'm going to top stitch all the way around the outside. Now this would be great if you did this with a different colour fabric, a different colour fabric, a different colour thread, maybe an interesting um, stitch. Maybe you've got one of those machines that go, has lots of different um, decorative stitches that you never get around to using. This is the perfect opportunity for you to use that. So I'm just going to stitch around here. Rhonda is asking, I really hate sewing in the round. Is yeah. there a trick to it? Mm, slow. Okay. Slow, I would say. There, is, um, there are a few people on Instagram who have various little um, cheats for things like that. So they may have, you know, if you have a, um, a, a table, a, an extension table on your sewing machine, which goes around this table here, um, it goes around here. Sometimes um, I've seen people stick a piece of corrugated um, cardboard okay. in place and then put their fabric, the thing that you want to stitch on there and then put a um, like a push pin in there, uh -huh. a corrugated cupboard, uh, cardboard and then that allows everything to stitch around. Ah, okay. um, so that is something you could potentially do. I would just say just do it slowly. Yeah. Um, you know, and I think if you've got one of the, the feet like this one, you know, this feet that I really should be on commission for, um, which has like a little bit of a blade um, down here, it's got a little bit of a, a barrier here, so you butt, butt your fabric up against this piece here, and so it keeps that quarter of an inch 
um, this is called a quarter of an inch seam foot but you can get lots of different ones you get often get ones that don't have this guide at the side they just have this measurement here so you've still got to keep a lookout you know you'll keep your fabric in this little place here I just find it's much easier if I can butt it up against that and certainly when you're sewing in the round um, that makes it even easier because you're just sort of butting everything up to that is that something we blade. do it isn't something we have no so maybe just you that can... place that prime stuff yeah, you can easily you know, pick one up. I just got mine from an online store, as you do. Right, now what we're going to do is I want to make this into a kind of um, a kind of hanging. So it's not a bag, it's not a bag. So I've got a little bit of um, ribbon to hang this up. Um, so I'm going to attach that ribbon down here. I think I might attach it. I might attach it at the front, actually, like this. And I'm going to stitch that together. And then somewhere around here. I've got some little um, bows that I've made Aww. that I'm going to stitch onto here. And then I'm also going to be using these leaves to decorate this little thing here. I'm just hearing... I know, here. you're just telling us now, Johnny. <laughs> yeah. You'll have to tell the story. So, Johnny, once when he was younger, auditioned to be the Milky Bar Kid. And as he did point out, he didn't get it kind of gathered that but yeah could you imagine imagine you so it was because he didn't have glasses well could you not have not put glasses put on fake ones yeah the milky bars are on johnny i can't imagine every child that played the milky bar kid mm -hmm. no did have did need glasses That's although i was on a tv show were you yeah um in 1999 so 99 19 so what's that 20 24 years Gosh, so it'll be 24 years next month, March. I was on BBC's Can't Cook, Won't Cook. Really? Yeah. And what, mm -hmm. which one were you? Uh, no, see, everyone says that, Johnny. That's Ready Steady Cook. No, yeah, I, I want to know were you the person that couldn't cook or wouldn't cook? Well, I've always been a good cook. Oh, yeah. And well. maybe just didn't tell the whole truth to get on. Oh. Yeah. Because oh. I was, I was, what was I being about? 10 or something yeah something like that so yeah it was like the huge big cookbook door opened up and Ainsley Harriet came out he was the chef and then I was on one side there was another little girl on the other side and we just had to copy what uh, he he made yeah so yeah and it was a Mother's Day slash comic relief special oh we need to see this Craig I I've think we need to still got it on DVD somewhere oh, on DVD mm. not 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 video uh, it was on video, <laughs> but then, do you know something as well? So I lost the video, or the video was damaged, and then years and years later, I thought, right, do you know what? I'm going to, going to email the BBC and give them the data now, because I had all the details. Could I get, like, you know, a copy of it? Yeah. So they came back. I'm not going to tell you how much they said it would cost me for me to get a copy out the vaults. But was it, right? Well, I suppose it's all someone's time, isn't it, to yes. go out there well if they were getting what they were going to charge me i was like no thank you you're all right and then i kid you not about two weeks later there used to be a channel in the uk called challenge tv yeah and they used to do reruns and then they re reran the episode that i was on no mm -hmm. that's so that's brilliant. where i managed to record it from oh yeah oh uh, we, we need to see this I, i'm hoping that craig when you go, when you finish actually you, did, you said you've got nothing on this weekend I've got lot. I've got. Uh, excuse me. I've got lots of prep. Uh, My day is on Wednesday. Uh, I was hoping. I was hoping you're going to go. Yeah. You know what? You're going to need no day that. <laughs> you're going to need no day that. I've got lots to do, Jimmy. <laughs> going to know. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm in so much trouble now, aren't I? <laughs> right. I think maybe we need to see this. I think you need, we, we all need you to pop this onto your social media because I've got I'm to sure see I've it. got a picture on got social, this. yeah. Right. So I've, I've just been fiddling around and working out where I'm going to be putting these um, leaves, leaves and petals. So these petals were something that I did in Wake Up Call using this, which is our um, orange peel um, shape cutter. And in, with this, you, all you need to do is you need to sort of fold your fabric. And um, so I'm going to quickly show you how it works. Um, so I would take my piece of fabric and fold it over. And then you place 
this little um, guide on here and you'll use your rotary cutter to go through these gaps here. And because you fold, you've put it on a fold, when you open it up, you get a full petal. Mm -hmm. You can, of course, wow. stick half petals if you want to. So these are the ones that I did earlier today. And I just thought it was a little bit of a shame not to do anything with them because they had been an integral part of the show. Um, so what I thought I'd do is I'd, I'd use these to create a, a little kind of um, some petals um, on this sort of flower here. Um, so I'm just going to do a little bit of hand stitching. Okay. Um, so I'm going to stitch um, these ribbons onto the side here with your with the little um, ribbon bow that I've done here. Okay. Doc. Um, just to secure them, and then I'm just going to stitch by hand as well um, the petals onto this little thing. But I just thought it was something a little bit different to do. It is, fact, isn't it? You know, actually this could, if you wanted to make this into a bag, you could absolutely do that. Um, you just need to follow the instructions to create a whole bag. Mm -hmm. um, but they're always, it's always a little bit of a challenge to create a whole bag in a show. Um, so I thought actually nice to show you something a little bit different because obviously we've shown you in the videos step-by-step -step instructions as to how to make a bag. Yeah. Um, but you know, nice to have something where you can use it for something else. But that particular um, circular bag I always think is really useful um, to make a little bag for a child that, would that be looks cute. like a, um, a little uh, ladybird. Oh so yeah. So I do it in black with red. Um, and then red spots on the top. The what, um, what, that would be so good. Yeah. yeah, that would be really, really nice. Or even, you know, make one for a flower girl. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that would be nice as well. I, um, we've got Shadaya saying, when I was 14 and 15 year old, I sang on a radio show and won loads of Colgate products for a year. Oh, mm. that's quite good. I've, I've always wondered as well, say you enter a competition, they say that you can win X amount of whatever for a whole year. Yeah. Surely there's a cut-off. How do they determine how much in that year you're going to get? Well, also, you know, lifetime supply. I or, mean, yeah. you know, when I always thought in um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, um, you know, when it was a lifetime supply of chocolate, well, my lifetime su supply of chocolate is a lot. You know, I, I think it's one of those things that people would regret. It's a little bit like Homer Simpson going to an all-you-can-eat buffet. Mm -hmm, um, that's mm -hmm. something that nobody wants to, to, to see. So I think, you know, so this, yeah, there must be a cut-off. There must be. There's got to be. Yeah. Michelle saying, I played Twiddle D from Alice in Wonderland in sixth grade. We've got Sandra. Yeah, actually, Michelle, who was Tweedle Dum? Sandra Dundas on YouTube is saying, oh gosh, she's saying, hey, Becky, I watch Call the Midwives. Find it disheartening at times as I actually lived through the times when these things were happening. So I, I always find it very interesting because that was where, where it is in Poplar, um, where it's set, is not far from where my mum grew up. So my mum grew up in Limehouse. Right. So my mum says it's very, you know, it, it's quite evocative watching it because um, you know, it's a little bit when my mum grew up in Limehouse in the 1940s. Um, so, but it, it, you know, that's sort of when it sort of started, didn't mm -hmm. it? Just after the after the war, they they started doing the, those shows, or I think you know, in the early 50s. Um, but I think you know, I always think it's amazing how um, me medicine has come on in the years and how much more knowledge we have. But I I, I do feel fully equipped to help anybody give birth. Um, after watching Call the Midwife, I'm sure it wouldn't matter um, what they had, I'd still be able to work out what they were doing. Well, you see, I'm like that with Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> you know, I could easily do brain surgery, no problem yeah. whatsoever. Yeah. Reattach a limb, no problem whatsoever. Yeah. I can do anything like that because I've watched Grey's Anatomy. I remember at school, our, our um, biology teacher teaching us how to do a tracheotomy when we were about 14, no way. Um, saying, well, it might be useful. And then there was an episode of Doogie Howser when he did that, and I was like, oh, I know how to do that. Carol how to do had that. to do it in Neighbours. Who did Howard? Carol. Oh, Harold. Carol. Harold Howard. Yeah, he had to do it in Neighbours. I could understand if you got confused between Carol and Carol, but I no. do know who Harold is. That's the, that's the problem, isn't Car it? Carol. <laughs> Carol and Susan. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, he had to do it in neighbours. It's, it's interesting. I couldn't see. I can talking of Grey's Anatomy and horrors and that that you all know, like Debbie Fisher and Ben. I love I love horrors, anything like that. The one thing I can't stand is watching my own blood get taken. Oh really? Can't, yeah, I can't. I can't watch it. Anything else? Absolutely, I can do. But no. But the thought of maybe having to do. Not hope that I'm never in that position. But suppose adrenaline that just takes over, doesn't it? And yeah. Yeah, I, mm. I think I would. Um, I, don't, I remember being massively into um, 
sort of people giving birth and stuff like that when I was no, not even younger, you know, young, yeah, younger, but not young. And um, we had some friends, and one of them was heavily pregnant, and um, there was a party, and she was like, oh, no, I don't think I can go. And then she said, oh, is Becky going? And they were like, yeah, yeah. And she was, no, that's all right. So if I go into labour, Becky will know what to do. Becky will and know. I felt quite proud about that, but, you know, I kept going up to her and going, boom, <gasps> in the hope that she would have um, the baby, but she didn't. Uh -huh. Well, if you like videos like that, you should go on to TikTok. There's all these weird and wonderful things on TikTok. There are, aren't there? Yeah, I know, often quite... Quite strange. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very strange. What love for Miriam Margulies. Silva yeah. saying, love Miriam Margulies. She's brilliant on Graham Norton. She absolutely oh, yes. is. Because yeah. she can get away with a lot more than she can do with Holly and Phil on this morning, in the mornings. Um, she's got, she's very naughty, but like a child, like, like a childlike innocence that makes her very charming. Really does. I think so. I think she's hilarious. I really do think she's very, very funny. Lillian is saying, uh, it's actually saying to you, Becky, and yeah. to me, Maria Margulies sits on her front steps and lies in wait for passer buyers to chat with. You could meet her, take a bag of onions, and she'd love you. Yeah, because she eats raw onions. She does, doesn't she? Mm -hmm. She lives in, um, does she live in Australia now? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd, um, you know, got no chance of bumping into her, but she is, I think she's one of those people, you know, if you choose who you're going to have on your, you know, your ideal dinner party. Dinner party, she's she definitely She would out. be hilarious, and, and, and it would very much depend if she says yes as to who else you would in, invite, because I probably wouldn't invite, I don't know, Gordon Brown or somebody like that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it would, it would definitely be um, very entertaining. I'd like to have her there. Just to say as well, so going back now, of, of course, while we're here, onto the soft crafts, we've got our Susie, which is saying, which is absolutely right, and we, we touched upon it within Wake Up Call, if you didn't touch upon it on Wake Up Call, and that is with the fabric plates you were saying, Becky, you can use them with your paper crafting. Yeah, I do. Um, I always have done, ever since I got them, because I'm lazy. Um, and because, um, you know, they, they, work, they work just as well. As I said, sometimes... Um, I suppose depending on the, I don't think I ever use anything but just the the, the um, fabric plates and okay. the the outer thing. I don't think I end up using anything else. If I do, it would probably be the magnetic shim. Got you. Um, so you know you just have to work out what works for you. Um, but yeah, they they work really well, um, and and I just find actually it just saves me from having to go over to the other side of the room mm -hmm. and. Um, find out where my other plates are. Now, if I had planned this a little bit better, I would have found um, some little um, sparkles to put oh, here. Oh, yeah. But um, there it is. So you've just got a little bit of, um, sort of home decor. Um, you've got a little um, way of sort of using up those little um, those little leaves. How little cute is that? Down. It looks a little bit like a water lily, I suppose. It does, doesn't like it? That. And you can just hang that up and have it on the wall. Um, just something a little bit different to do. That is really, really cute, Becky, and just something that I never actually thought that you were going to make at the start of that show. That, as well as uh, two other bags you can make using the bag making dies. This one is a three pack. It does work out that you're buying one and you're going to get two for free. So you've got 10 dies in total. So you do have your circular crossover bag. So that's what Becky just used there for the home decor. You've got your three dies there. She did explain at the start what these additional ones are for. For. You are also, when it comes to this one here, you are going to be getting your bowling bag. Now that one there, same concept as the circular one, it's just giving you a different shape. And then last but by no means least, when it comes to your bag making die, you are getting your carpet bag. So this one here, and that one, and that one, that's what you're going to be paying for, $24.99 or $34.95. It works out that you're buying one of them and you're getting two for free, $19.99 or $27.96. So you've got these ones, all of these ones, three different bags. And we say three different bags, yes, but then start to use them in with your mixed media and in things such as your home decor that Becky was just using a moment ago. So very, very versatile when it comes to these ones. Platinum price, 19.99 or 27.96. We have got a beast of a fabric cutter here with free fat quarters. Now this one here is your fabric cutter and fat quarters. It is a two pack because it is your cutter and your quarters. However, it is more than that that you'll see just in a moment. Now this one here is 
huge. It's that big that Jamie's having to zoom right out so you can actually see it within the screen there. You kind of see the lights bouncing off a bit, but we can see it is huge. Now, within this one here, Becky, you've got that handle. It's convenience to actually ca carry with that handle. But what are the benefits from having something so big? And what is the size? I know it's 15 by 15 mm. and a half. Yeah. But is it simply for that ease, that precision when it comes to cutting? Yeah. Um, now, it's a little bit like using your guillotine for paper craft. Um, but I find, from my point of view, if I've got a big piece of fabric, so um, let's take this piece of fabric here. Um, now, this is your normal width, so 110 centimetres um, wide. If I wanted to cut a strip of this fabric, um, I would... I would have to sort of lay it all out and I would get my, my ruler, my long ruler or my uh, folding ruler and I would put it here um, and I, I, I would then cut it. Now with that fabric cutter, um, it, because it is a guillotine, I would fold my fabric in, into quarters. So even when I'm using fabric on, on a bowl, so I fold it into quarters and then you just lay that piece of, and it is, it's heavy plastic, it's not glass, it's not as heavy as you think it's going to be, but it's quite substantial. And you put that over the top of this piece of fabric here and then your cutting part is down this side and it works just like a guillotine in that you you know you're just going to tr trim off these edges you've got all these measurements down at the bottom so you could then use this to cut cutting strips quite easily but you can then use the measurements on there to create, tr create cut diagonals cut triangles all sorts of things and it has a, the same kind of rotary cutter I was just sort of looking for my where I've put my rotary cutter it's got the same kind of blade in it um, like, like this, this kind of size, but it's housed in um, a very sort of safe place mm -hmm. in order for you to cut through here. Now, it is, it's very useful. It's particularly useful for people with um, not great dexterity. Right. Um, so if you, you're struggling with a rotary cutter and you want to cut strips of fabric, for example, that is absolutely the thing to have because mm -hmm. it makes it nice and easy, even if you just want to use it for trimming the edges. Because if I, if I do this, if, I'm, if I fold my fabric into um, quarters and I'm going to be using this I'm lining this up but and it, and it you know it, it, can, it can be possible it is possible to do it's very very difficult to use a rotary cutter if you're sitting down because you don't you need to sort of be True, over it you yeah. need to be able to put it, be put some pressure on this in order for it to stay put now with that thing you just almost need to put your arm like this you can lay, lay your arm there you can be sitting down and you're pressing down with the blade here so it makes it really nice and easy um, and I, I definitely say it's something that I use a lot when I first got it um, I thought well you know it's I don't know whether I'd use it any more than my ruler, but actually I found it really, really useful, especially if I want to cut lots and lots of strips, just maybe an inch wide. Got it, Because yeah. it's simple, mm -hmm. it's really quick and easy to do. Um, so it's, it's definitely a worth having um, in your craft room if you're going to start doing some sewing. Perfect. You know, not only that, you are going to get your four pack of brights of your fat quarters. So you do have exactly that, the bright. So you'll have seen the green that Becky's been using and demonstrating throughout Wake Up Call. That's in here. But you've got your fuchsia, you've got your green, you've got your orange, and you've also got your blue as well. That's going to come included with that. So that's your fabric cutter and your fat quarters, four pack of your fat quarters there. $41.99 or $62.99. If you are platinum, it does come down to $33.59 or $50. 39 all of these as well as everything else and so much more that we're not even going to have a chance to check out within the shows today are across on the website best place to go is of course shop the day you're going to find everything from softer side of life and then our master class later on in the day which is with jan and all about mixed media while you're there we're going to give you the opportunity to check out your baskets and we'll be back in a moment welcome to crafters tv with more than 35 hours of shows each week it's your home for all things craft we shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day come on that was really funny ben you did it was better than your i'm a no when i live in a caravan <laughs> I am a no man, I live in a caravan. <laughs> <laughs> Can we yeah, flip that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody's gone surfing, surfing USA. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on catch up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, 
or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. I have to tell you, every single person works tirelessly uh, behind the scenes and I can't just give a shout out to one person because for me, it has to be John, Tracy and Jake. I'm going to give a shout out to our backstage hero and I'm actually going to say heroes. It has got to be our product coordination team. It's got to be. Because without those three people, when we're on air, we wouldn't be able to function like we do. They make sure we have everything we need, right from um, the samples to the product to uh, having a drink of water throughout the show. They really look after us. You see us day in, day out, seven days a week, live on TV. We're crafting away. We're hopefully inspiring you. Every single card, every single product, every single tool that we touch has come from product coordination. Those guys are the unsung hero. They're there making sure we have the products, we have the inks, we have the tools, we have everything that we need. We have the power to actually work our Gemini ranges. The smooth running of behind the scenes of Crafters TV is all down to our product coordination team. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves. Leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comforts of your own living room. Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range, or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time so you can get on with being creative. Crafter's Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. Erlene is asking, Becky, yeah. love that iron that you're using. Can she purchase it? Not from here. Um, can I say who it's from? Yeah. It's called So Easy as in S-E-W, easy. Um, I, it's something, we normally have an ordinary iron. This just happens to be the one that we've got. Any old iron? Any old iron, any old iron. Um, but I think it's um, one that they often use for flower forming foam. Um, it, and it's quite good. Having something small, I mean, I always use a travel iron um, in my room because you don't need a great big iron, when, especially when you're doing sort of small bits and pieces. Um, but then I, I, or I sew down in the kitchen, so I'm next to the proper iron Kadok. board. Joanna's saying, are the replacement blades the same as the rotary cutter 60 yes, millimetres? They are. Perfect. There we go. And we had... So, yeah, just lots of love about Millie and Margulies. We've also got... So, so Shadaya said, every Friday, me and Ma, we used to go to the Colgate factory and they would give us what was allotted to me. Oh! Mm. Oh, you're going to have to come and, come and talk to me. Come over this yeah, side. This side. I mean, I quite like that idea that you could just go to the factory. It is very much um, uh, Willy Wonka, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it is. Although with uh, Willy Wonka, that's more that unhealthy. Whereas, gee, yeah. imagine you won a lifetime supply of chocolate from Willy Wonka and then you also won a lifetime supply of dental Or dental health. Dental health, <laughs> yeah. We've got Rhonda saying crafting is a talent, not just one that you can do on Britain's Got Talent <laughs> or America's Got Talent. Absolutely. <laughs> Michelle saying, uh, Craig, oh, we're back. I'm just going to stay. stay here. Um, saying, oh, Rhonda is saying, Michelle is saying, Craig, sixth grade for me was at least 50 years ago, so I have no idea <laughs> who Tweedledum was. <laughs> <laughs> Rhonda saying, oh my God, Craig, I passed out once when I watched them prick my finger and watched the blood get sucked up into the little tube. So I should have probably just given a warning for anyone before I started reading that one out. Since then, I can't watch my blood be taken. Rosalind saying, you're killing me with these prices <laughs> and the fabric cutters. Well, don't worry, I know lots of things from watching Grey's Anatomy so I could save your life. 
We've then got Gail and is I saying, can deliver your baby. You, yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah. yeah you could do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. track it, track it off to me for me. Yeah, can't do that. <laughs> yeah, or make a top. No. Gail is saying hello everyone, checking in from Maryland, and Vanessa is saying hello everyone from Florida. Any comments, anything else you want to ask Becky? Get the questions in. Yep. We'll fire them across. Excellent. I yeah. suppose I better go back to the other side. Uh, just stay here. I'll, I'll stay for a bit. Yeah. I'll do any helping if Excellent. I can help. Yeah, all right. Well, we can talk about. Um, oh, I nearly said it again. It, alphabets. <laughs> I'll go and get them actually. I keep they're not. Elephant. They're not elephants. Elephant, a number. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, I mean, quite clearly something. Um, but yeah, it just keeps being in my brain. 50% saving. Elephant, elephant and numbers. <laughs> I, I was joking about that. It's elephant numbers. <laughs> alphabet. Oh, builder block, alphabet, alphabet and, and numbers. numbers. Now, this builder block is really cool. They're all really cool. But it doesn't just do numbers and elephants. Can you make elephants? No, I don't think there are elephants. I'm going to have a look now. Um, I'll, I'll, get my, I'll get my pack here. So these are all specific shapes that then the way that you lay them out or turn yeah. them, they're going to make Yeah, so you're going to be able to elephants. make different, si <laughs> different sizes. Now, you get a lot of um, dies in this pack. So you've got um, lots of different shapes, lots of quarter square triangles, half square triangles, uh, uh, squares and It's my favourite shape, that. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So you can see you've got loads of those in there to make all those different shapes. And actually, once you start building these letters, these words, um, you'll be able to see that there are other things you can do. Now, we're using Roman um, characters on here, but obviously, if you wanted to have something in a different language, you could probably work it out. The way I would work it out is by using some graph paper, mm -hmm. and then you'd be able to make it work with the, the dies that you've got here. But the great thing, I think, not only do you have elephants and numbers, elephants you've also got symbols so you've got um uh question marks you've got hashtags apostrophes love that. But you've also got some other shapes as well no elephants you've got a lovable bear um i don't know where those elephants have come from but you've got all those different shapes so you've got hearts stars postage stamps um forest trees home sweet home so you can make loads and loads of different shapes with this which i think is really really cool now somewhere i'm looking around i have some samples of these just, just you, you carry oh, well, on chatting while I get some samples. Build ready. a block, alphabet and numbers, 20 pieces, 34.99 or 44 dollars 97. It's a half price. Half price for these ones here, but even better if you're platinum, it's going to come down to 27.19 or for you guys stateside 35.98. For you to be able to do yes your numbers, also your letters, and then all your little ampersands yeah. and that. Yeah, if we hold that up to show you how they look. So when, when you start looking at them, you can see they are squares, half square triangles, quarter square triangles to create that. But it could make a really lovely quilt, especially for a baby. You know, mm -hmm. you baby, you make a quilt for them to lie on with all of the letters, maybe something for their name. Maybe you're going to be making a, a wedding quilt and you want to have Mr. and Mrs. on it or mm -hmm. you want their names. Lots and lots of options on there and no elephants in sight. No, that's so, so smart. Even like a little B&B &B or something with a little throw or something yeah. and yeah. certain like, you know, the house's initial or something yeah. like that. Exactly. Really Really, really clever um, piece of kit. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to thanks. I've got like an assistant. Yeah. I, I'd like you to be in more spangles. More spangles. Yeah. I can give myself a. Um, <laughs> I close my eyes. <laughs> draw back the curtain. Ah. Ah. <laughs> See, this is why they don't let us work is. together. They go like. No, uh, actually, it's too much. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the hearts because it's nearly um, nearly Valentine's Day. Um, it's not long now. It's going gonna, it's gonna to come around quite quickly. Um, and here it will show you exactly how many of everything you need to um, cut. So you've got um, four different sizes, small, medium, large and extra large, to make the different size um, sort of um, <laughs> blocks. Um, so here, if I'm going to be doing the background, I need six squares, I need six half square triangles and four quarter square triangles. And then for the actual heart shape, it shows you all the bits and pieces that you need in there. So we're going to have a go at putting that together. Now, these ones, because there are so many little um, squares in there, it just does take a little bit of time to put them all together. I'll stitch together as much as I can. Mm -hmm. And the other ones I'll li line up so you can see how it all comes together. I like how you've got it written, but then you've got it in that diagram as well. But yeah. that diagram, is a, it reminds me of a cross-stitch diagram. Mm. 
absolutely. You know, you're able well, to I mean, follow. That's, that's effectively what you're doing, aren't mm -hmm. you, with that cross stitch? And actually, and I would have thought if you've got some cross stitch patterns, you could quite easily adapt them using this system you to could. make something. I mean, we're, we're talking about doing things in sort of 12 inch blocks, but if you wanted to use them like you do a cross stitch, mm -hmm. you could probably make something quite big. Oh, you know, you yeah. could have like a sampler in cross stitch and then you could replicate it using these. Yeah, you could. That'd you really, good. really could, couldn't you? Little project for you. Little for project. So we're going to get started on doing these. So I'm going to be using um, the, just check what size they are. There are squares. They're using all the large ones, the large and um, large squares. So on this little map you've got here, it shows you all the different sizes that you've got. So large squares, extra small squares, um, extra small quarter square triangles. So it makes it very, very simple for you to work out what you, you want to do. You know what I would do? What? I would, I would trim that sheet ever so slightly and then get an A4 laminated sheet and laminate it. Oh, that's quite a good idea. Mm -hmm. So Sarah writes on hers. Oh, does she? Yeah, she writes in the, in the spaces where everything's yeah. called. And it's I think idea. it's a really good idea, and then I probably think, forget about it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you're, you're right, you don't want to lose this. Yeah, but you know what You know what I'm like as well? I don't like writing on my stuff. For mm. instance, my scoreboard, I don't like to do that black line. What black line? It. You know how, what's on ours, go a black line down the centre so yeah. that if you're joining up corner or corner or anything like that, or yeah. if you're needing to get your ball tool into a specific point in the centre, you don't know which is the correct line. Oh. So you put a black line down your score I've not done scoreboard. That with mine. Have you not? No. Yeah? No. Mm. no. Do you know when that's going to come in really, really handy? When? Over the next couple of weeks when we've got something launching. Oh, what have we got for launching? For card making. What have we got launching? Um, maybe a way to do all of your different card sizes and concept cards with absolute ease. Oh. Mm. Heard it first here. Mm -hmm. I don't, hobby, I don't... hobby Maker on Monday with myself. Okay. And then we know by now, once it launches on Hobby Maker in the UK, it's yeah. not long till it comes to Crafters TV. Oh, very exciting. Looking forward to that. Oh, you, get all the, you get all the goodies, don't you? I'm buzzing that I've got this one, <laughs> yeah. Right, and we're going to use these here. So we've got quarter square triangles here, and we've got half square triangles here as well. You can see that is the square, so that would be my half square triangle, obviously taking into account that quarter of an inch seam allowance. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing that. I might have to be watching Hobby Maker um, on Monday. 7 a.m. for the first show. Oh, I'll be, I'll be driving back then. Ah. Yeah. So, news break. If you are um, purchasing it from Crafters TV, 13th. 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 Just yeah. in time for Valentine's Day. It is, it could yeah. be a little a loving gift to yourself. It could be. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I like yeah. that idea. Or, you know, give the hubby a nudge or the wife a nudge. And... Yeah. Well, my husband just keeps on saying, oh, God, no, not more stuff. No. What have you bought that? What are you doing now? Resin work. <laughs> oh, I fancy just... doing some yeah, resin I've work. Got, I've got all the stuff. Come to my house. Don't need to buy any of it. I've got a yeah. whole lot. not even started doing it yet. Have you ever fancied trying a cricket? Joy, because you can come one. to mine. Have you got one? I've got one. Not a door, I've got the original. Oh, I see. Now that I've got the joy, I really want the large one now. Yeah. I do like it. Mm -hmm. I've got, I love I've it. Got it. Yeah. yeah, I'll tell you what, you can play with my joy yeah. and then I'll play with your resin. Okay, fine. Sounds good to me. Right, now, we're going to put this through the Gemini. So we're going to use our fabric plates. We've got our dies here. Um, <laughs> we're never going to be able to work again. Okay, they're just going to go. I'm sorry. I just I caught something sorry. about us two should be on Gogglebox. <laughs> Oh my god, that would be so good. I'd love to do goggle box. I, I think you should come round one night and we're just going to set a camera up yeah. in the corner and we'll watch a bit of telly. You're on. We'll do that. You're on. Yeah. You would have to be you know, something with Miriam Mowgli's Grey's Anatomy and Call the Midwife. Definitely, yeah. yeah. There yeah. we go. Sorted. Excellent. Yeah, we'll, 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 do, we'll do that. I mm. like that idea. Right, so I've cut those out here. And I think I've got all the other pieces ready to put together. Um, now, um, I, when I do patchwork, um, you've heard me say this before, when I cut all my pieces out, so I do too many of all of them, because there's always some times when you end up stitching them together and they don't work quite, quite as well as you want them to, or the dog takes one with them, um, or you, know, you get one stuck on your top and you go to the corner shop to go and get you know, emergency chocolate and they're like, why have you got bits of fabric or stuck to you? They don't say that to me anymore because they know me too well. Um, but I like to cut them all out and I, I put them in takeaway boxes. Right. Um, so I have all the takeaway boxes all laid out in the different colours. Do you get many so, takeaways? 
Well, enough to have the takeaway <laughs> boxes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, you just keep hold of them. You don't want to waste them. And um, so we're going to start by working out what we're going to be doing here. Um, I'm going to start in the middle um, just because it's the, the quickest one to do. It's the easiest one to do. So I'm just I want to stitch um, five of these um, squares together. And then you, next, the next strip you're going to be doing will be um, two half square triangles, three, three squares, and then um, another half square triangle on the side here. And you can see how you build it. So you build it in strips, and then you stitch all those strips together. So I'm going to go ahead and put these together here. Well, I'm just thinking as well, is if you're just tuning in right now, you're thinking, <laughs> oh, that's great. No, no, you'll be thinking, you're going to be able to do all these shapes. Yeah. Yes, but this is really based on giving you the ability to do your alphabets and your numbers. Yeah. These are just like all the extra bits that you've that you've got on. Yeah, absolutely. And now I, I do need to have a play about with this to see if I can make an elephant. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just going to have to work yeah, out. Yeah, because um, now where was a Silver saying, but you could make an elephant shape. Oh, I yeah. bet you could, yeah. I think I'm going to have a go. I, I know, I finish it. Finish after this show, and then I'll go back to the house. And there isn't anyone at the house tonight. Maybe that will be my busman's holiday. I will um, give that a shot. I'll have a go at playing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, yeah with Corin tomorrow. Uh, yes, because I have to thank you. Why? Because you're doing Sunday as well, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, because it was originally meant to be me. Yeah. Uh, on the presenting side, and then of course, if we've established, I'm at Hobby Maker on Monday. Oh yeah, that's too. So much. I need to drive down the night before. So. I would have been on Crafters TV, yeah. not leaving here until 8, well, yeah. 8 p.m. when we finish. It's going to be quarter past eight, half eight, drive three hours down to Redditch, three and a half hours, go to the studio and set up, mm -hmm. get to the hotel room, check in, be yeah. up early. early it's too much. Very kindly, you are doing Sunday for me. You know, I've done it, I've done it once before and it is, it, it's too much to do. Mm -hmm. You are... Um, you know, you're just exhausted um, doing it that way. And so then you're on next weekend as well, aren't you? Or the next Saturday? Am I? Am I? No, not the next, no, the one after that. Yeah, two weeks' time. Yes, yeah, same, uh -huh. same, same, same kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, because we're on together all no, day Saturday. You and me. You're on that side and I'm on this side. Oh. Back together again. Well, that's that's what we know to be the situation now at well, the moment. That's true. But it could very quickly yeah. change now. Yeah. You know, they're like, right, no. Mm -hmm. Those ones are not allowed to be together. So we're going to do the next part up top over here. Um, and then we want um, a kind of crazy one in the middle. And you see crazy what I mean by, by crazy heart. So we're just going to do the top of this for the moment. And then I want this one over here. Just to see as well. see how that's beginning to look. Oh, I, that, just, uh, yeah. I just need to do the middle piece. And then the middle piece has two white, tri uh, one white, one, one white triangle. And it has three um, pink triangles, these are quarter square triangles, to create that square. So I'm going to stitch that one together. Is that the fuchsia from the fat quarter bundle I was it showing is, with yep. the rotary yep. trimmer? It is, yeah. And the white is white that we have available on the website as well. Um, so yeah, they're, they're all the colours that we've got. Uh, mm -hmm. All the fabrics I've got today, all the plain threaders fabrics that we've got um, right. available. So anything like that you'll find on the website. Yep. Search for it or just go into the shop section or even just type in threaders. It won't just be fabric you'll get, it's everything branded threaders. Yeah. But have a little peruse. Absolutely. So we can see we're going to do that, that um, one here. And then I want to stitch these two together. So run those through the machine. And again, it makes it really easy that I've got this quarter foot inch seam allowance um, on my foot. Not on my foot, but you know what I mean. Yes. Foot. So it'd be really weird. Actually, maybe that's what you should do. Maybe that would show that I'm a... A, um, a sewer, if I had a tattoo on my foot, which was just a quarter of an inch seam allowance, and people would say, oh, yeah, I can see you've got a quarter of an inch seam allowance foot. What? <laughs> say that again? Do you know, as I was saying this, I'm thinking, what are you waffling on about, you crazy, crazy woman? Well, like, I can talk, <laughs> but say that again. Well, this is called a quarter of an inch seam foot. Right. Quarter of an inch foot. Right. So I could have a tattoo on my foot that just said a quarter of an inch, and that would be my quarter of an inch foot. OK, yeah, OK, yeah, I get that now. Now, you know, just my I little pee brain. I don't know why I bother, you know. I don't know why I bother. No, do, do bother. <laughs> do do it. You just might need to explain it in a bit more depth it's, to it, me. It's never good when it's a joke and then it, you've you have to explain, explain it afterwards. Yeah. yeah, that never works. 
them. So we've done those um, those little tiny triangles. These ones I said are the crazy triangles. Now um, you'd always do you no know, two together first of all. You wouldn't do these two and then try and stitch that one together. So you do these other two and then you can stitch those together here. So section by section. Yeah. You just follow. The Again, so it's that system of building each of yeah. the you know blocks, if you want to call it that. That is what we want to call it. Well, it is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Also one of those things, you know, when you say it, when it <laughs> comes out your mouth and you're thinking, well, yeah, Ooh, that's what it's called. Yeah, like me and my elephants today. Yeah. yeah what is wrong with me? Or so. your finger pressing and your <laughs> oh, iron. <laughs> that was so rude, wasn't it? No, it wasn't rude. It was so good. So quick with it. So this one is going to go like this. And this is going to form that top part of the, the heart. So you can see you've got that... Um, curve you can there like that so we're just going to stitch these bits together so it, it, this one of all of the builder blocks this one is probably time consuming to put together because you've got lots of little tiny squares but you can see from the that finished um, sample um, or otherwise known as um, Craig's multicolored dream coat dream coat yeah, yeah. Um, you can see how effective it looks um, and it really does lend itself you know you've got to be accurate because you need everything to match up because you've got these tiny squares um, if you ask are worried about it not matching up um, like I say cut plenty and then if they don't match up you can always sort of get rid of some that don't work and start again oh look I stitched two oh, together you've done two. Oh, don't worry about that. Amy is saying dear Gemini Please stop trying to convince me to take up a new hobby. Lol. <laughs> Good morning from Los Angeles, everyone. Uh, Amy, are you anywhere near the uh, Sophia Stadium in downtown LA? Just curious. One of the new, one of the new stadiums. Right. It's humongous. It looks incredible. What kind of stadium for what? Uh, well, sports Just events. Just generally. Or football no, no. events. Okay. Yeah. WrestleMania is there in a couple of months' time. I thought there was going to be something to do with yeah. WrestleMania. It looks absolutely huge. It's, it's like a mix. It's hard to explain. It's like gla part glass ceiling, part without a ceiling. Beams going across. It looks wow. awesome. Yeah. So I'm just, I'm just curious. Just curious. Amy is also saying, I completely got what she said, that would be an interesting tattoo. <laughs> it would be. Um, I've, um, th th I've seen quite a few sewers that have, um, down here, they have like a sewing a tape measure down here, which is quite that's, useful. That's quite cool. Yeah. Um, but there's, a, there's could... a lady that I, um, I met at a, an exhibition a little while ago, and she's making me a, a little bracelet and it's all done by needlepoint, so it's all stitched, but it is, um, it twirls around and it's a, um, a tape measure um, in Crafters Companion colours. Okay. And so she, it should be finished in a couple of weeks' time, so I'm right, really looking forward to that. So it's all being made by hand. Mm -hmm. um, I couldn't buy the one that was on the shelf because my, I've got fat wrists and it didn't fit. No, you don't. I do have fat wrists. Yeah, I do. I have fat everything, to be honest. No, you I, shut up. I, I, I don't mind because, you know, I've already bought myself a little cake to have. Well, you've got good looks, so... <laughs> so, you know, it's just the way things are. Just how it is. Yeah, you know. Well, OK, that one can just go over what, your head. What did you say? Sorry. I've got good looks. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Oh. Oh. Such a flat. Um, right, so we've got the top of this um, heart. You can see that how that's coming together. And we're just going to continue to work in strips. Um, so I might be able to finish the next one, probably mm -hmm. won't be able to do the whole thing. But you can see I've got um, this one here, which would go like that. And then I've got Amy, these ones here. Amy, who is very close to the Sophia Stadium, about a mile away. Ooh. Whenever you're next passing, if you're ever in that area, can you take some photos, just of the outside, I know it won't be the inside, and either send them to me on Instagram DM or send them to customer service? Yeah, why yeah, not? Yeah, no, I'm being deadly yeah. serious. I'm being deadly serious. I can't remember who it was a couple of years ago that sent me pictures of the at and Stadium. In, from inside the AT&T Stadium in Texas. Yeah. So, yeah, it would be, I would love to, and I'm being honest with you, Johnny would probably like to see it as well. Just be interesting. It would be interesting. So I know that you probably won't get inside, but even if it's just outside and that, just to see the sheer size. Yeah, it sounds amazing. There are loads of things. I'm hoping to go to um, America in, um, later on this year for my husband's um, belated birthday and my daughter's 21st. 
Um, we're going to go to LA. So if we're in LA. Really? Yeah. Well, there's a there's somebody who makes um, wax melts. Oh wow, it does look amazing. Um, and I've been really interested in buying some of her wax melts, but the shipping is eighty pounds <gasps> um, to get it shipped over to the UK. So I was like, right, I'm going to wait until I'm in the states, and then I'll. Um, I'll give you an order. Yeah. Oh, they look mm -hmm. really good. But they're kind of the ones that you can't buy in the UK because they look like food. Oh, right. And you're not allowed to um, manufacture those kind of ones in the UK. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. You can't have that because it looks like food and therefore it's a, it's a safety thing. Um, so the actual wax melt looks like food? Yeah, and they, look, they really look like um, food. They are amazing. And, I, you know, I'm, you almost sort of look through them and think, oh, I wish that there was smelly vision. Um, I wish I could smell them because they do sound really good. She does amazing videos. Um, really, I'm, I'm really sort of watching her make these wax melts and these candles mm -hmm. and things and the soaps. Uh, well, you can make amazing. little bags and stuff like that for them, yeah, couldn't you? Yeah. And then start to pop all of these if you're making and selling. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. No, they really look really good. They've got ones that look like, um, she makes a lot of her own moulds, and she had ones that look like um, Pop-Tarts. And they look just like Pop-Tarts. You wouldn't, you know, yeah. you'd be concerned if a child got hold of them, you'd think that child would go, oh, I'll, pop, I'll pop that in the toaster. It's something I've thought about doing. I did get, not an cheap set but not a dear set either of a ca candle making set oh yeah um you can do little candles or you could do wax melts and that it is something that i thought if i could get the right not true to life true to life fragrance but something that is just not cheap and cheerful do you yeah. know something that you know if i were on the side if i wanted to sell and make a few bob for yeah. tra charity then i could do i used to make them when i was young so i used to have when i was about um nine um, my mum would make um, clothes, for um, baby clothes, and I'd make corn dollies, candles and earrings mm -hmm. at craft fairs. And I used to love doing that. It was really sort of quite an addictive thing to do. So you can see here, what I'll, I'll do is I'll line those other pieces up so you can see what it's going to look like in its entirety. But you're getting the idea of this um, design. So we want... Um, Susie more. wants you to go to New Orleans. New Orleans. Oh, I, we're all going. I want to go there. I've never been to New Orleans. Oh, quite party like central. There. Really? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That downtown New Orleans, when they're all out, the jazz stuff and that. Yeah. yeah. I always, whenever I think of New Orleans, I always think of um, the Interview with a Vampire. Oh, I thought you were going to say CSI or something. No, Not no. That I watch that. Interview but... with a Vampire is, is sort of something I think of in New Orleans. I know we've like been having a laugh and a joke and chatting away there, but how fab has that come together? You know, I know you've still it's two yeah. of the panels, but being able to get the layout of the love heart. Yep, yeah. it comes together quite quickly. So we're going to do that one there, and then that would go there. And obviously, you can, you know, it's not quite in. No, the way it should be because we've used we haven't sort of stitched everything together so they almost look like um rectangles but you can see how that would come together and you can make a really cool um design and you with all of those but no elephants no elephants whatsoever no. how fab is that absolutely fab that you're able to do that and please keep in mind okay you've done the love hearts it's actually bases around yes. your numbers and yeah. alphabets yeah you'll, you'll be making and no n not your um you wouldn't be able to make any kind of Greek lettering or anything like that without working them out first of all. These are all sort of Roman um, letters, so normal sort of A, B and Cs. Perfect, excellent. That's your builder block, that is your alphabet and numbers. 20 piece there, $34.99 or $44.97. That's a half price today. However, if you are platinum, that's going to come down to $27.99 or $35.98. So within that one there, let's have a look at the essentials set here. Because this has been very, very popular, which I'm not surprised. Just to say, Amy, thank you very much. You wee gem, I would appreciate that sending those pictures in. This one is your sewing room essential six piece tool collection. Now what you are paying for is your map. So this one here is your A2 in size 
foldable craft mat. Now that one there, just to say, is worth $24.99 on its own, or $24.95. Look at that, today's price, $54.98 or $69.90. So you're paying for that, and you're also paying for your 60 millimetres rotary blade. That one there, you've got your actual uh, handheld trimmer, you've got the replacement blades inside as well. So that is what you are paying for essentially. But for no additional cost, you're going to get your miter tool. Now this was what Becky was verbally explaining earlier on and showing with a couple of the samples, the way that you can miter the corners at different angles. That one is included. Very handy to have within your stash and it's free. You're also going to get your 24 by 24 by set or 6 by 24 foldable ruler here. Now once again, Becky's shown you and demonstrated throughout Softer Side how you can use this one here. It is looking as though it's one square but actually folds out into four, giving you that elongated shape, the way that you can use your rotary trimmer with it and on that uh, craft mat as well. So that's included, essential, free. You're going to get a full pack of your clips as well. Now, yes, these are good for holding your fabrics, as Becky was saying, but then think about card making. Think about things such as holding your box lids together while the tacky glue adheres to. Maybe you need to hold any bits and pieces together. Becky was saying as well, these are a good way for us, our mic packs or our ear pieces, the cables, if they get a bit loose at the back, just actually add, um, clip them on using these. So really are clips that you're going to be able to use so many times so many places that's free and then you're also going to be getting your 51 piece this one here is your needle and that is your magnetic base as well so you've got all of these well pins you've got all of these pins and that magnetic disc which is or magnetic pin yeah dish dish. I knew it was dish something. So your magnetic dish and you've got your 50 pins as well. All of that is free as well. So free, free, free and free. And then it works out that you're paying for your rotary cutter and of course your A2 craft mat. $54.98 or $69.90 but platinum comes down to $43.98 or $55.92. That I am not surprised. It's been very, very popular today. You'll have seen how Becky was using them multiple times throughout this show. So that's that one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to be having a look at these here. Now you're thinking, what are them, Craig? It's these. This one here is your multimedia patchwork dies. Three pack here with 12 dies in total. So you are going to be getting your jewel. You're going to then be getting your clamshell. And you're also going to be getting your hexagon. So you've got your elongated hexagon. All of them, 53 97 or $53.91. Look at that saving. You're saving £66 or $65.94. But then your platinum, even better, comes down to under £45 or $45. To be exact, it's $43.18 or $43.13 for all three sets there. That's where it's giving you your 12 dies in total when it's your multimedia patchwork dies, three pack giving you your 12. Right, what are we going to have a look at, Becky? So I'm going to show you some samples of this. Now this I think is really clever. So this is made using the jewel, jewel pattern, but by using the different colours, you've basically made a heart quilt, which looks really, really cool. So you're using these, these, these shapes um, that would indicate, you know, normally you would have them looking a little bit like this, I would have thought. You know, you'd almost have them as like a, a starburst kind of um, feel to it. But by putting them in a different way, you get these really so cool different. lights, um, little hearts. Um, you know, you could use some of the plique um, dies that we've got and maybe put little mark messages on them so you could make them into love hearts. You could make it into like a love heart um, quilt, which I think is quite clever. Um, so those are your jewel um, shapes. This next one is your elongated hexagons. Now hexagons are always sort of a key shape, um, but these are slightly different in that they are elongated. I also found that these were really useful, so I cut these out using the dies. Um, I cut um, them out of 
um, an old towel and also a um, piece of soft cotton and then I stitched them and I made them into reusable makeup wipes. Did you? Um, which worked really well, yeah, that's quite good. It's quite a good shape because it's quite nice and big. Uh -huh. um, and then finally, these are your clamshells. Oh, so, so smart. These ones, I mean, this is lovely. This one's, these ones have just been appliqued. But if you have a look on social media, um, on Pinterest or something like that, there is a fantastic quilt design, which is like this. It uses these clamshells, um, all different colours, great scrap buster. But um, every now and again, there's a white one, and they've just done little ears and little eyes, and they look like little pandas peeking oh. out. And I love that. It's one of my favourite quilts, which I keep saying I'm going to make. And I've started it, and I haven't finished it. And that'll probably be the case for some time. Um, but it's just one of those things. I should get on and organise myself, but, I, you know, you, you run out of time. You run out of time. You run maybe out of time. Something for an upcoming future craft along, maybe? Who knows? Maybe, maybe. We'll have to, we'll have to wait and see. Mm -hmm. But if you have a, look, have a look at it, and if anyone's ever made one, please send me some pictures, because I just think they're absolutely gorgeous. So I've got two here to have a look at. So this one is your clamshell. So you've got it in four different sizes, and you've got the same with um, all the others, so the jewel and also the elongated hexagon. The elongated hexagon is one that I use a lot. Um, so I've actually only got the two biggest sizes, because I've managed to mislay the smaller ones. Um, but you can see that they all fit in together. Now, if you wanted to use these for um, English paper piecing, uh -huh. English paper piecing, or if you wanted to do um, quilt as you go, you can do that because you've got two different sizes. So what you could potentially do is you could cut out um, the smaller size um, with um, the wadding and the, and the fabric, and then you can cut out one of these in the larger size just with the backing fabric, and then you could then sort of fold over the top um, of the smaller size and you can you basically you could do sort of a, a quilt as you go kind of design if that's what you wanted to do if you're not sure what i mean have a look on um, line at quilt as you go but that's an option you could do or you could have these cutouts the smaller one cuts out of paper um, or card um, and you cut that card and then you cut the bigger one out of fabric and then you fold it over and you just sort of stick it with some glue and then you stitch them all together and then you take the papers out. Okay. And so that's English paper piecing. So there's different options you could do with those. But we're going to use them in um, an ordinary way. Now, with these, with the jewel, um, you have to put these together in a slightly different way. Um, you do have something called a Y seam. So if I show you a few that I've already cut out, um, maybe you can understand what I mean. So because of the way that these are shaped, so if I put them together like this, um, and I want to have them like that, and then maybe I want um, ones like this here, for example. I want them to slot in together like mm -hmm. that. Um, you, you can, um, it's not very good, that's not a very good example. Um, if I want them to go in like that is what I meant to say. Um, if I stitch down here and down here, it makes it quite difficult for me to join this one together. Yeah. So we do something called a Y seam. So you can see this is creating a Y shape. And what we do here is we would need to use a heat erasable pen and a ruler. And we want to measure a quarter of an inch from the edge. So if I go here, and I'm just using this ruler here, and I'm going to measure a quarter of an inch here. And I'm also going to do the same at the top as well. So actually, that is the, the point. I want to do that. And that, this is going to indicate what I want to start. And, excuse me. In. Bless you. In. Well, we're just talking about two. that Sorry. within wake-up call. That's it. Just two, normally do three. One's a wish, two's a kiss. Oh, well, you know, it is Friday night. Uh, <laughs> there you go. And I've, I'm gonna, so that's my starting point for stitching. And this is my end point for stitching. You're coming over to give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. Oh God! Mm -hmm. I thought I was supposed to get the kiss. Oh well, never mind. I'm not fussy. Um, so I'm just going to be putting this mark here. To, are you wiping the what? You're not fussy. Thanks. No, well, you know, uh, no, I'm not fussy whether mm -hmm. you give me the kiss or I. Uh, no, no, neither kiss. was I. No, but you sneezed twice, so you give the kiss. Oh, okay. 
I thought I got a kiss. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Here we don't mind who gets a kiss here, do we? We're no. all friends. Um, so we have a start and an end point um, when we're going to be stitching those together. I'm going to put them together and I'll show you what I mean. Um, now, you know, I, I can run them through the, the die cutting machine. It's exactly the same way as we've been using with our ordinary builder block dies. These are multimedia dies, so they're going to cut through multiple layers of fabric. Um, you know the situation, what it means when we're using those. You know how they go through. Um, and um, we're just going to stitch those together. What's this? John, John is just saying, one, so one's a wish, two's a kiss, three's a disappointment, <laughs> and I can't remember the rest, yeah. No, one's a wish, twice a kiss, three times a letter, four times something better. No, no, I don't know that. This no? must be the Scottish way then. One's a wish, two's a kiss, three's a disappointment, <laughs> four's a da, five's a da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. But I only ever sneeze no more than three times, so... Oh, sometimes I sneeze, you know, sort of seven or eight times in one go. Wow. Yeah. 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 It's quite, quite exhausting, really. It must be. Uh, so then, so you can see here, I've stitched that together, but I haven't stitched right to the very end. There's a quarter of an inch um, seam allowance here. So what I want to do now is I want to flip that piece over. And again, I want to stitch along here, but I only want to stitch up to that quarter of an inch mark. So again, I need to use my ruler. Um, you can possibly, you know, if you've been doing this for a while, you'll be able to work out where that quarter of an inch is. But I want to mark it on here so you can be totally clear where that quarter of an inch is. Mark Just is. make sure that you're precise each time, isn't it? Yeah, and that, this is why Y seams are a little bit, um, I wouldn't say, they, they, are, they are a little bit tricky, they're a bit more time consuming. I'm using a massive ruler here. Um, I could get away with using something smaller. And in fact, if I had that mitre tool with me, um, I, might, I would use that um, because that would be, make everything a little bit easier. So I just want to make sure that I'm a quarter of an inch. I'm actually here, that's where I want to stitch it to. So you're obviously going, you know, you're sort of taking sort of two measurements effectively, you're taking a measurement from this point up here and that point here to sort of join them together. But we're using a heat erasable pen, so that should mean that everything works out nicely. So what we want to do is we're going to stitch these pieces together like that. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do the same on this side. So while I've got this here, I might as well stitch or mark these points here. So this is just, this is just an idiosyncrasy with, with relating to um, Y seams. So this is relating to something like this kind of shape that you're using here when you want to join it up. So would you do all your marks at first or would you do no, your marks, because, do a bit of stitching, mark because, stitching? Um, when I've stu what I should be doing when I stitch each piece together is um, like giving it an iron. And um, I've done this before where I've gone, oh, I'll mark all the pieces up in one go. And then I, I, go, then I iron them part the way through and realise that I've ironed away all of those markings. Um, so I would, I, you just do one piece at a time, unfortunately. You can do them by eye. Um, if you're quite experienced, you know, you'd know to do them by eye. Um, but this is the way you sort of need to do them if you're not doing them by mm -hmm. eye. So we're going to, we want this piece to be like that. I suppose it's a bit like matting and layering as a paper crafter. The more you do it like I do, you can kind of gauge yourself yeah. what is that quarter of an inch or yeah. half an inch. You do get uh, an idea of it all after a while. The different things that you've done between, of course, wake up call and then softer side. You know, you've shown how, well, there's that bag earlier on. It wasn't a bag, it was a piece of home decor. Yeah. Yeah, all sorts of different things you can do. So I've stitched that piece and then I want to fold this over like this, like that. I'm folding that and putting those two pieces together and stitch. Gosh, Amy's saying that she sneezed 12 times this morning. Oh my goodness. Must wow. be some kind of allergy. Wow. There is, um, there is a... What's the word? Um, not, not, not a disease, but a, a problem where people have multiple, multiple sneezing, don't they? They yeah. just don't stop. Yeah. Yeah. Which must be very difficult. And no, you, would you, you call it you wouldn't, an you wouldn't illness? Be able to go or to the theatre, would you? Yeah. You'd be worried that people would be just listening you, to you yeah. sneeze. Or go to an auction or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you can see how that comes together. So Who that to is um, just an example of how, how you put those kind of Y seams together. But if I was going to be using this dual pattern, 
I think this kind of design would be something that I would do. So you can see you've got these pieces like this. You've got them all working around in a flower, first of all. And then you would pick your, you're going your wire seams and you're having those going around. So it almost looks like um, petals going yeah. in different directions. But that's effectively what you do with those dies. And because you've got them in all those different shapes, all those different sizes, they do make it really, um, really handy for you because you can make all sorts of different things. And having, you know, being able to cut those multiple layers of fabric, because of course, because they're multimedia dies, you could do eight layers of fabric in one go. It minimizes how much time you're going to be spending on cutting out. And you can just set, then get started in doing um, all the stitching particularly with these ones because you've got a curve being able to have these um, in, a, in a die form means you've got that uniformness mm -hmm. and you know they're all going to fit together and that is sort of a key thing when it comes to working with curves so definitely worth popping in your basket today definitely completely agree with you and as Becky was saying as well you know that every single time it's going to be precise when it comes to that cut a couple of comments but what we'll do is we'll go through these ones first of all because another one that's been busy today is the builder blocks this one here being the square so this is your multimedia patchwork dies oh well that was um, the one that we were just showing you before we'll show you the builder blocks just in a second the builder block system with your expansion pack now it is a two pack you are going to be getting the square expansion for free now it works out that you are paying for your square you can see your three inch four inch six eight nine and twelve 18 dies in total build a block system with the expansion pack 74.99 or 104 dollars 96 platinum comes all the way down to 59.99 or 83 dollars 97 so that's being with that expansion pack there so it's being the squares but it's just true because i know we had to look at them earlier on and although they say squares but you do have your triangles in the way that becky explained used them earlier on so that one there is what you're going to be getting 74.99 or 104.96 that's what you're going to be getting for free and then what we've also got and to be honest with you i'm surprised that it's still here although johnny's saying single figures this one here is your plus now within this one here again it is your four your eight your six your nine and your 12 14 elements in total if i turn it around this way because you've got your rectangles again your triangles but then you've got all these different ones as well this as well is where you're going to be getting your just want to check is this the one that's limited stock Limited, limited stock on this one here. So this one is your builder block system plus that one, $74.99 or of course $138.67. Platinum comes all the way down to $59.99 or $110.94. So you're going to be getting your builder block and then for free you are going to be getting your square, this one being your expansion pack, two pack. If you were to go for both, that means you're going to get two of these ones however maybe use one as a spare maybe someone else that you know as a soft crafter you can give it to them or maybe you still do your uh, card making and your die cutting use that for your card maybe your thicker materials as well so you'll still always have a use for that one there that one being your builder block plus with your free expansion pack now becky you've got some samples to show us when it comes to these builder block hundreds of samples. hundreds hundreds probably not hundreds maybe 80. So this is um, one of the examples of um, what you can make with the original builder block. So this is um, squares, half square triangles. Can you see? Oh, yeah, it's better there. Um, squares, um, half square triangles. Uh, no, just half square triangles. All half square triangles. So even this one is half square triangle. But you can see it almost looks like it's weaving in and out. This one here um, is, is one of mine. Um, this is squares and half square triangles. We can create this kind of maple leaf um, design, but very, very simple to do. This one is using the expansion pack. This is using expansion squares. So this is really, really pretty. I think this is a lovely design, um, an example of using our mitre tool to create that kind of point in here. So it's a really pretty design. Um, so the squares that you get in the expansion pack are a different size to the squares that are already in the original builder block. But if you're going to be buying it with the builder block plus, that doesn't come with squares, it comes with rectangles. These are just some of the examples that I'm going to flick through very quickly to show okay. you the different designs you can have. Because obviously I've shown you in the booklet, but having a look at them in real life, 
um, is well, obviously you're not looking at the real life because you're watching on the TV screen, but you know what I mean. Yes. Um, you can see how effective they are. All of the ones, or most of the ones we've done here, are using just block um, colours, but you can imagine how they're going to look once you start using some patterns, um, pattern fabrics on here. So really, really intricate, very modern, some of these, very traditional kind of design. This one is the basket um, design. So you can see here, you've got the, the basket with all the flowers over the top. Um, this is one that I started making as a, a cushion cover. So I just used um, some of those um, pretty designs and then did around the edge. So that's something you could do. Um, you've got all of these different designs um, that you can make. So loads and loads here. And this is with the original builder block. So this is just squares, half square triangles, quarter square triangles. It goes on and on and on. And on. So that's, that's the original builder block. This is the builder block plus. Let me get those ready. So again, lots and lots of different designs. Lots. Um, got ones here. These ones, these kind of stripy ones, they almost remind me, this is kind of Harlequins, isn't it? Um, but those stripy ones remind me of Tweedledum and Tweedledee, this one here. Alice in Wonderland, yeah, it could be. Them. Um, again, you know, you can get all sorts of different designs. We've got lots of different designs in the booklet, but you'll find information um, on different designs on social media, um, on Pinterest and places like that. But if you're buying both, you can mix them together and then you can create more designs by using the, this one, for example. So this has got squares, rectangles, and it's also got quarter square triangles. So it's using both the Builder Block Plus and the original Builder Block on this one. Um, this one, again, is isosceles triangles, um, half rectangle triangles, but also half um, square triangles as well to create that design. Um, this one, this one I think is really pretty, very, very intricate kind of design. And then we've got a few more over here. These ones are using the mixture of the Builder Block uh, plus this and the original phenomenal. Block as well. So huge, huge amount of um, designs that you can do. And they're quick to make because you don't have to worry that things aren't going to match up because you've been cutting them with your Builder Block. You know that they're going to, all the points are going to match as long as you're using your quarter of an inch um, seam allowance when you're stitching everything together. Make sure you press everything and you as well can make things as beautiful as this in a fraction of the time that it would have normally taken you. Yeah. <laughs> that really, really shows the amount of things that you can be doing, the different layouts and the different shapes that you've got from that Builder Block system. Plus, um, we're going to have a look at our fabric cutter here. Now, this one, so, so busy with this one. You are absolutely loving this deal. You've got your fabric cutter. Now, it is huge, 15 inches by 15 and a half. You are going to be getting your fat quarters as well. So it's a four pack of bright fat quarters. But within this one here, you have got your large fabric cutter. Now, Becky did explain earlier on within softer side, the uses, the benefits of this, where you're going to be use this compared to your handheld rotary cutter but that one there it is your large fabric cutter and of course you are going to get your brights of your fat quarter so works out as a two pack one and then two but you are going to be getting four of your fabric uh, quarters, that one being your fat quarters. $41.99 or $62.99. Platinum price comes down to $33.59 or $50.39. And I know you went in with a little bit of detail earlier on, Becky, about yeah. this, but where would you use it? Where is the benefits of it? Uh, I think the main benefit is for people who need to use a rotary cutter for um, cutting your fabric but they're finding it difficult. You know, we, we, there are always times when we have issues with dexterity, and obviously as you get older, that can be more of an issue. My mum has never been able to use a rotary cutter. She finds it incredibly difficult. Um, it's to do with, you know, getting the right height. If you are sitting down, it's nigh on impossible. So if you're not able to stand, it becomes very, very difficult because you almost need to be over the top of your, um, of your ruler, of the thing that you're using your rotary cutter for. If you're sitting down, you don't have the, the the purchase that you need in order to cut through. So by able to being able to use that a fabric cutter, it makes it nice and simple. You're not having to hold on to something. You are literally pressing down and pushing it forward, just like you would do with a, a kind of a guillotine. Got it. Yeah. Um, and it, you've got all the measurements on there. So cutting things like if you're going to do cutting one inch strips. Now, if I was cutting a one inch strip with um, my normal um, ruler. Um, it's quite difficult because I would have to keep making sure I just fold that over. 
and show you with this. Um, it, I would have to keep making sure that my ruler didn't move. My ruler is only quite small in comparison to the piece of fabric that I'm working with. Obviously, with that fabric cutter, you've got far larger, almost like plate, as it were, mm -hmm. that's going to be holding here. So it means that if I'm cutting here, you can see it just by me doing that, I'm actually moving that ruler. You are, slightly. yeah. I'm not, I'm not keeping that um, where it should be. Whereas if I had something that was holding onto all the fabric here, it's sturdier. Um, I've then got to pick up this, I've got to use it, I've got to have that kind of movement. With that um, fabric cutter, we're just having a nice smooth movement um, with your hand. The blade is hidden with, inside the ergonomically correct sort of um, handle. It almost feels like a, a mouse, a mm -hmm. computer mouse that you're using, you're pushing up here. It does make everything a lot easier. And you can cut strips, but you could also, because you've got measurements on that fabric cutter, you've got measurements so so you could be cutting things at angles as well and you just be lining up your raw edge of yeah. the fabric up against it after you've done your strips so it does make things much much easier than perhaps using um, a, a ruler um, if you're having you know issues or you want to cut multiple pieces of fabric and you want to do a big piece you know in one, in one whole go i think it could cut six or eight layers of fabric in one go i think it's said eight cut, yeah, yeah it, it's quite significant so that again you know if you are you know, perhaps you're, you're working, um, you've got your own, own craft business, you've got bolts and bolts of fabric, you want to cut lots of strips because you're going to be doing them in a, in a, in a, in a kit. You can lay you know, your three, four, let's, let's say you're going to lay um, four bolts of fabric mm -hmm. out. You're going to fold them, no, they've been folded in half yeah. already. You can just line them all up, go like that. And then you've got all your strips already and you've got all those four different colours of fabric that Perfect. you need. You roll them up and that, that's your fabric ready for your kit. So it does make it super easy for you. Yeah, that's such a great thing to know when it comes to the ways. And obviously the way that you were just shown there with the, the ruler and that, that's not like a negative way to use no. that. It's just there's easier ways, there's easier things to use that or the rotary trimmer. Yeah. You know, and it does, um, you can, we have a spray that you can spray onto the back of these, which gives it a bit of grip, um, because they do move a little mm -hmm. bit. Um, but I think it's more, that, that thing, that um, cutter, when I was doing, I was doing craft kits and I was doing one inch long, one inch wide strips of fabric in five or six different fabrics. I just found, I just got my fabric, yeah. laid it all out, I just went like, Ch -ch 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 -ch. Well, let's suppose it's done in no, no time at all. In paper craft, it's just like thinking when it comes to pattern paper or cardstock, cutting it with a craft knife versus yeah. a guillotine. Yeah. So it's just thinking that no way it's wrong. It's just what's ease of you, you know, what's a comfort to you, and uh, what you find, as I say there a moment ago, easy to use. Exactly. When it comes we always to want it. to be a little bit easier. Exactly. Absolutely. Now we are going to put your home decor piece straight into demo of the show. Do you Have think you got it, it there? Because it's the only one I've done. I'm just glad I'm not having to choose between you and Jan later on, that's for sure. Have you got it there to have a look I have, at? Yep, yeah, I have. So we've got, um, we're using the circular um, bag, and we've got, it almost, it almost looks like a water lily, I it think. Does, really it does, really does look like that. In there. So um, I've only used single singles, um, pieces of um, pa paper, single pieces of fabric. Um, fabric in there to create that, um, but just um, stitched um, there. But I, I would, if I've, I've got the beads, I would cover it in beads. Mm -hmm. Make it even to a little even bag that you could do, couldn't you? Yeah, although in saying that, two hours to a lot of people seems like a lot of time. When you're live and trying to demonstrate all these different things, certainly your soft crafts. Yeah, it does know, take a long time to it do does. soft craft. So it's really good to see that even that basis as to how you've created that. And then, yeah, if you wanted to add all your beads and that to it, you absolutely can do. Right, before we head off, we've got a few other deals. This one here being that sewing room essentials. Very, very busy. This is your six piece tool collection. It works out that you're going to be paying for your rotary trimmer and, of course, your A2 craft mat. Now, that is a large fold out craft mat. That alone is worth just shy of £20 or $20. But where everything else you're going to get for free. So, your uh, 24 by 6 foldable ruler, you're also going to get your pegs, you're also going to get your miter tool and also your pins and that magnetic tray. That's what you're going to be getting for free. $54.98, $69.90. Platinum is $43.98 or $55.92. We've also got some feet. But these are feats for your quilting machines. This one is a three-piece feet set, $27.99 or $34.96. If you're platinum, it's going to come down to $22.39 or $27.97. Now, maybe you need another foot, but you need embroidery foot. 
Well, we've got that one covered for you. So this one is sewing machine, 10 piece feet set. $27.99 or $34.96. Platinum comes down to $22.39 or $27.97. Look at all these feet. Imagine having these bare 10 feet for your sewing machine. You can absolutely go to town when it comes to that 10 pack. You could do lots of things, lots and lots of things from those feet. Then maybe you want to do a little bit of building a block. This is the curves. We do like a curve. That's your bay leaf and your winding ways. That one is going to be giving you both of them. 70% saving. Look at that saving on your screen. You're saving $83.99 or $125.93. Look at that today's price. $35.99 or $59.97. Even better though, you've guessed it, if you're platinum, it's going to come down to $28.79 or $43.18 for both of them. Then we did have a look at these earlier on. Becky showed some finished samples, and this is actually the one that demo one dem dem that Becky won demo of the show with, being the circle, bag make and die, three pack collection, 10 dies in total, $24.99 or $34.95. Does work out that you're buying one, you're getting two for free. Becky, I said you buy one. You get one. Do you get two for free? <laughs> Let's, we'll just, so that actually works out. You're buying one, you're getting two for free. So Becky, you buy one. You're getting two for free. Hey, $9.99 for the next one here. $9.99 or $14.95. Decorative panel dies, three pack. You buy one. Becky. You get two free. You do indeed. All of these down to $7.99 or $11.96 for these three of them. You've then got your Dresden plate shape cutter featuring your two-in-one design, $9.99 or $12.47. That is half price, $7.99 or $9.98. Then we've got the orange peel, or as I'm going to be calling it, the Adam and Eve shape cutter featuring your two-in-one design, $9.99 or $12.47. That one, Becky, is also... Half price. It is indeed. $7.99 or $9.98 for that one. If you want to know why I'm calling it Adam and Eve, go back and have a look at Wake Up Call. <laughs> then what about your border quilt and pattern guides? Four pack here, collection. This one here, $31.98 or $45.90. Works out as half price, but it also works out that you buy two. Becky, you get... You get two for free. You do indeed. Platinum, however, comes down to $25.58 or $36.72. Lots and lots and lots of goodies. Becky, thank you so, so it's much. It's been great to see you. It's been so good being on with you again. Uh, you, we're back together a week, uh, two weeks on Saturday, yeah. but you're back tomorrow. I am, all weekend. Ooh Sorry. No, don't you um, apologise. But um, Playcraft's right, one of my favourite shows. I don't know why it's not on no, Saturday night on ITV. I um, agree with you. <laughs> So yeah, looking forward to that. We've got Corinne um, with me all weekend as well. So it should be a jam-packed um, two days. Yeah. We've got lots of different things um, there. Yeah, jam-packed or jam-packed, because later on it will be jam-packed in here, won't it? It will be. And we have got a show jam-packed full of deals when it comes to mixed media items, of course. You can go ahead onto the website and shop the day. You're going to find it all there. Jan gave you a little bit of a tease within Wake Up Call, but she is back for the full two hours, six o'clock here in the UK, 1 p.m. Eastern time, 10 a.m. Pacific time. We're going to have a party on a Friday night, talking about party. Uh, we have got... Susie is actually saying it's crazy here right now carnival season is in full swing Ooh. mardi gras is only two weeks away there are parades every weekend and oh. soon every day that of, of course wow. is um in um new orleans i think someone else there we've got shelly saying oh that was amazing so quickly done that was regarding that heart mm. that you were having a look at earlier on we've got mary saying good morning from montana she did say this earlier on a little bit late in we've also got susie saying i lost another poke tool that's one thing that i don't lose do you not no i, I mine just disappear i'm so I precious know, with mine i don't know where they go they, they probably go with the tweezers and um spare socks that's what I reckon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, there's a whole world no, I don't underneath know. the floorboards yeah. full of pokey tools, spare socks and tweezers. Mm -hmm. I always have that odd socks, and I'm like, where's the other ones? Yeah. I'm intrigued to know where they've all gone. 
We've also got Joanna saying, I have the store all binder in baskets, going to put all my thread and bobbins together and arrange them by colours in the pockets. Excellent. It's a good idea. Yeah. Nice way to get organised. Still technically the start of the year, although we're into February, so you can still get organisation ready for all your stuff, crafty stuff. Uh, once again, Becky, you're back tomorrow. Thank, thank you. you so yes, much. No, thank you. I will see you a week, two weeks on Saturday. Excellent. I will see all of you. If you are watching live, I will see you in two hours' time, where I'm going to be back with Jan again, where we're going to have a look at a masterclass. This one is all about mixed media. Anything you want to know? Any questions that you've got? Send them across to Susie, and we'll send them across to Jan within that last show of the day. We will see you then. <laughs> <laughs>